you know, people have asked me, well, you know, what's your favorite duty station? What's your favorite jo job? What's your favorite position? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of close seconds. Um, but I think probably the time that, one, I was closest to my, my troops and actually serving in a combat environment was uh, when I had Regimental Combat Team 1, uh, which fought in March up to Baghdad, and then also uh, fought in Fallujah in 2004. I probably got some of this white hair from that, 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 that particular engagement because it, it, it was a tough situation. Commanding in combat is probably the most testing that you can probably ever ask of yourself. You know, you're really, you're really tested. As you know, you have to put the people you love the most into harm's way. That's, uh, that's tough, and that really wears on you. Uh, and so, you know, even to today, even as I retire, even as I stand out here in Marine Barracks, Washington, on retirement that day, and, uh, you know, I'll be reflecting on those, those people that, that I lost. But that period of time as a regimental combat team commander uh, probably was the most impactful position that I've had and probably ever will have uh, in my life. The decisions he makes uh, are monumental in my mind. I, and that, that was not exactly just as a general officer. I, I think my husband made some pretty tough decisions all the way through his career. Um, the Marine Corps has a legacy that's a proud legacy. Uh, the people that have gone before have, have been examples, shining examples of all kinds of leadership, good leadership, etc. Uh, and I think that legacy is something we need to continue on. And we do that by studying our history, uh, looking at the actions of our heroes, remembering the sacrifices of those who have gone before us, and never letting that die.